Let's talk Bachelorette last oh, night. Bring Ashley, her in. I, she's back. We've got our rosé, as we do here when we talk everything Bachelor Bachelorette. Oh, Welcome cheers. back, my dear. Thank you. What an episode last night. First of all, we're loving Becca. I love her. Yeah, she's great. Fantastic. I love yes. that you're in love. We will get oh, there. thank you. But we begin with Lincoln, the tears. What's going on with Mr. Lincoln? Lincoln was a nut. He was kissing and talking to that picture and then crying when it smashed. Okay, let, let's explain for those who don't do the deep dive like we do. Okay, okay so he wins a challenge. He gets a picture of himself framed. Mm -hmm. And it's he and his wife, Becca. Yeah, they all of a sudden they're A wedding married. challenge. Um, right, so then he's obsessed with this box. picture. And who was it that wasn't going for it? It was uh, Connor. Connor. Yeah, so Connor gets very irritated seeing this picture sitting out. And I'm not sure who's more childish in this moment. The fact that Lincoln is crying and talking and kissing a picture and calling this girl who he's literally had one and a half conversations with. It could not have been more than 15 minutes of talking with Becca over the past yeah. two or three days. And then Connor is so irritated, he's throwing the picture down, he's throwing it in the pool. And, and the crying, come on, oh, it's grow up. Tears by Lincoln Some were so childish. early on and so I really crazy. liked him. Then it got good, guys, because Lil John, AKA Tony Robbins, shows up. <laughs> Lil John on yeah. the back to back. And okay, this is the best date of all time. Ever, so this is Becca and Blake and they get this exorcism and they're playing videos of Ari and then they just get to wreck stuff. Yeah. She's wrecking the race car. I was at this date. They had a blast. They, they crashed things for like 45 minutes, and you could tell they really did like each other. Okay, it's very natural. Haven't we all wanted that moment when you just want to smash something that your ex gave you, or you just, I mean, that's that cathartic moment, right? Totally, totally. They've actually been trying to get little John to be on a bachelor date for years. But they said that the creative and the timing never matched up. And then when he heard about this one, he was like, yeah. He gets my rose. <laughs> when Lil John it. came out, I was like, this is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it was so so good. Um, I think she really likes him, by the way. The Blake guy that y'all just saw there smashing, okay, they the had The other big something. story last night, Colton, he's the virgin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Colton um, had a relationship with Tia, mm -hmm. who was one of the Bachelor, cont bachelor contestants when... Becca was on, yeah. and they're good friends. Yeah, they're really good friends. And if you remember, before Becca got dumped by Ari, Tia yeah. was probably the front runner to be the Bachelorette. So it's interesting that he was canoodling with her, and especially the timing. January tends to be the time where casting limits the guys down to about 50, 25. You really get that final call early early February. So when he tells Becca that the timing with Tia wasn't right, it's like, yeah, the timing wasn't right because you'd prefer to be on the show dating the Bachelorette than the oh. runner up. Is so there a girl questions. code though? Yeah. Is there a girl code? Like, can a guy date an ex, especially that soon after? It seems like it was really quick. I tend to say no. But um, I guess the bachelorette world is a little bit different. You know, there's a lot of incest of sorts. And, you know, he tries to insist that it was only a weekend thing and that he didn't have strong enough feelings. Well, he got a rose, but you could tell Becca's bothered. All right, let's take a look. This is Kit's favorite part of the whole thing. <laughs> okay, wait, guys at home, there's this guy Jordan on there. The male mom. The male mom. I don't think the there's steel. any chemistry with anybody. But this guy <laughs> drops so many words of wisdom. Roll a little Jordan. I wanted Becca to hear the tapping of the shoes I wore, such as like a heartbeat of a gentleman. You know, hopefully, you know, the fashion does make me unique. Don't try this at home, guys. This is done by a professional, so you know. That's <laughs> not Yeah. What? Boom. That's the pensive. Now Wait, are you that. a model? I am, yes. Oh. As far as being in clothes and being comfortable, no one's going to beat me at that. That's what I do. I'm a professional at it. That's what makes me me. Okay. As a gentleman, like, you know, my hair is always going to be pretty well kept. But, you know, I like, I like to have fun and talk about having a mini-me or something, you know? Like, that's, that's also a big passion for me is, like, having a little Jordan. Like, I could call him possibly Jordy, you know, just an old junior. Okay. Right here, ice cream cone. <laughs> okay, you can tell she's just like, I don't even know what to He comes out naked on that date. I know. Just wearing the underpants. She doesn't kiss him. She kissed everybody else last night. She kissed she did a lot not, of guys last night. She did not kiss him. What do we make of like, Jordan? Oh. Jordan is kind of the Corinne of this season because he's not a villain, even though the guys in the house will be irritated by him. He's just the guy who is outrageous but totally knows what he's doing. I think he's self-aware, but I guess that's up for debate. Oh, my God. He's fun to watch, but he's got to go. All right, you can hear more of Ashley I in her podcast, I Don't Get It, and Ben and Ashley Almost Famous. And The Bachelor is back next Monday at 8 on ABC. Great job, Ash, as always.